Hey guys, I'm Casey. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a ton of different ways to wear clips and barrettes. I have several different options here from regular bobby pins to decorative bobby pins to these clip barrettes and then the actual like spring clothes barrettes. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different ways to wear them and some of my favorite styles and um, a few different options for you guys to get some inspiration. For this first style, take a one inch section of hair on either side of your face. Pull it back to meet in the middle of your head. Grab a barrette and secure it into place. For the second style, start on the side of your head that you have the most hair. Pull a few pieces back away from your face and then slide the barrette in to secure. This is a pretty simple style, but it always looks super cute. Pull the top section of your hair to the back of your head and braid. pieces of your braid to make it bigger and then secure at the bottom with a rubber band and then cover the rubber band with your barrette. Starting again on the side with the most hair, do a Dutch braid until you get to your ear and then loose braid the rest of the way. Secure with a rubber band and pull to make bigger. Then add small clips and bobby pins to the braid to adorn. With your bubbly dutch braid, pull all of your loose hair up into a high messy bun. Secure it with regular bobby pins. Next, pin up the loose hairs at the nape of your neck with decorative bobby pins and clips. On the side of your head that you have the least hair, start to add clips starting at your part and moving down towards your ear. of your head with the most hair. Start to French braid down the side of your head. Once 
once you get right past your ear, just continue the braid as a loose braid. And I just secured it at the bottom with a clip temporarily. Find the clips that you actually want to use and secure at the bottom of the braid, right where your French braid stops, with the clips that you want to use. And then you'll be able to remove the temporary clip and that is your style. You can also pull the sides of the braid out here to make your braid a little bit larger. Gather all of your hair at the nape of your neck and twist up your head vertically. With the excess hair, flip it back down and fold under the original twist. You can pin it up with bobby pins to secure. Once your French twist is in place, I just like to add a decorative clip onto the side where it's twisted under kind of hides the bobby pins and it makes the whole thing look a little bit more decorative. Start this next style by gathering the top layer of hair at the back of your head. Secure it with a rubber band and then pull another section of hair back from your ears and add it to the first ponytail. Pull pieces of hair through and make the first section super bubbly. Then pull back another section of hair and add to the next ponytail. Continue this process down your hair until you get to the bottom. over each rubber brand to make it super fun and decorative bubbly ponytail. into a high ponytail. Right above your ear, add several clips until they are lined up along from your ear to the ponytail. Wrap a piece of hair around the ponytail to hide the scrunchie or rubber band and then secure it with a bobby pin. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you back here soon. Until then, check out some of my other hair tutorial videos or travel videos I have on this channel. See you soon.